Fairhope met with Baldwin County school leaders to talk about the fast-growing student population there. It was the second of several community meetings addressing school expansion in Baldwin County. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Katie Weiss was at that meeting. Katie, how was it? Well, Bob, D Superintendent Dr. Allen Lee told me that he thought it went extremely well. But I saw a number of parents tonight who left this meeting here at Fairhope High School with a number of doubts in their mind. The Fairhope High School gym was packed tonight as parents, staff, and city leaders gathered to hear about the looming problem of student growth and not enough space. Superintendent Dr. Allen Lee with Baldwin County Schools said the meeting's purpose was to get a better perspective on what folks in the community want to see in the educational future. Yeah, well, it doesn't make sense to tell the community what we're going to do until we have a chance to have them ask or tell us what they want us to do. Uh, we have been talking about the needs for facilities and recognize that every one of the feeder patterns in this county has facility needs. So we're going to pursue that, but we're not going to do that prior to getting input from a people. But many Fairhope parents say they aren't impressed. They're looking for answers as soon as possible. Fairhope has always made our schools look good, even in the leanest of times. And I'm very proud to be a parent of two here in these schools. Uh, but we all know the truth of what's going on um, inside, and that is a lack of enrichment, a lack of curriculum. Class sizes are bigger than they should be. You heard a lot about that tonight, especially at the intermediate school. We've got to take Take care of those needs and not just bump along and thinking this is what we've got to put up with. Uh, we want more and we need to know the facts about how we're going to get there. Even Fairhope's mayor left the meeting with some concerns. Yes, we need to fix uh, restrooms and roofs and all those things, but at the end of the day, if we're going to go and borrow money, we need to borrow it for things that are going to last 20 plus years. And I didn't see any of that in the, in, the, in the presentation tonight. But the mayor says he's still keeping the faith in the Baldwin County school system for now. Last thing I want to do is be in the school business. I'd rather give to the schools and work together with the school board to create the, what we need in Fairhope. Yeah, now keep in mind that the city of Fairhope has considered breaking away and forming its own independent school system in the past. Now, one of the temporary fixes that Superintendent Dr. Allen Lee said could happen here in Fairhope is that they could be adding more portables at schools here in the city of Fairhope. I'm reporting live in Fairhope, Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News. Thanks, Katie.